Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna to be talking about the shorthand syntax for Suzy, and this allows you to set up settings using this shorthand syntax. Um, so if these last sort of maps that we created seemed a little verbose to you, then this is probably going to be right up your alley because what these shorthand syntax allows you to do is really pass in arbitrary settings, right? It allows you to just pass in the settings into uh, functions um, or like uh, mixins like the layout mixin and they will just be able to interpret what you were trying to go for. So as an example, let's convert our wide layout map into a shorthand syntax that we can pass into this layout mixin. So to show you how cool this is, all we have to do is type 24 space, and then we're basically going to be putting in all of our, our parameters inside of this parentheses separated by spaces. So then we could say the gutters were one fourth, it's fluid, uh, floating is the style, and we want it to be inside. So, okay, so now we're no longer using this. In fact, to make that obvious, let's just straight up comment it out and click save. So here we have our settings. They're the exact same as here, except for we didn't have to define them in a map or anything like that. Now let's come back to our page and hit refresh. And the site is using this 24 column layout. How incredible is that? We didn't tell these uh, variables to be in any sort of order or anything like that. In fact, if we, let's pick up fluid and put it over here. Let's save it, refresh, it still works. Let's take this 24 delete it and move it to the end. Now let's refresh and we broke it. Okay, so how do we fix this? Well, the cool thing about this uh, shorthand syntax is that it's pretty free form. You don't have to worry too much. However, there's an order to things. The order is that the shorthand syntax wants uh, span information first, then grid information second, and then keywords. However, the thing about keywords is that they can go anywhere. So when we moved fluid from the front to or from the back to the front, nothing went wrong. But when we moved uh, one of the grid variables to the back, it didn't work because uh, our order needs to be span grid and then keywords can be anywhere. Well, the problem is, is we have this one divided by four here, and that's also part of the grid. So now what we've done is we've had part of the grid uh, defined here and part of it defined here. In fact, this would go back to working if we once again remove this and put it after the 24, saved it, and let's click refresh. Cool. So the keywords can pretty much go anywhere, but uh, a nice order is span, grid uh, keywords just to, I mean, if you want to keep it organized, I would probably just stick with that anyways. So now we have this layout that we defined with all of this code here uh, done in one line with this layout function. Now you can pass in pretty much any, we well, not pretty much, you can pass in any setting that Susie takes into here. So please, by all means, this is not the end of the line here for these settings, you can go into their documentation and see all of the ridiculous amount of settings that you can just throw into this shorthand syntax. Now for some more examples, I'm gonna show you, uh, let's say we wanted just a simple 960 grid. You could define the standard 960 grid uh, that everybody's used to by saying uh, include layout, then we have 12 columns, and they're going to be 60 pixels wide with 10 column gutters, which are going to be split and it's going to be static. Let's come to our page and refresh. And now we have our standard 960 grid. Although it's a bit funky here because we don't have a 960 width container. So uh, let's actually go ahead and say the container is not 80%, it's going to be 960 pixels, save and refresh. And this is maybe a little bit more of what you're used to. So this is just part of the 
uh, the shorthand syntax, right? So we're gonna take a quick break here and we will catch up to you in the next video where we show you what you can do not only with the shorthand syntax in the span mixin, but uh, what you can do with the layout function to create maps out of the shorthand syntax. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, hit us up at Twitter, Facebook, anywhere. Let us know what you think, we'd love to hear from you and I'll see you in the next one, bye.